Hey, I'm WJ Pierce, and in this video, we're going to look at how we can easily pass the AWS Solutions Architect at the associate level. I'm going to break it down into three steps that if you follow, I can pretty much guarantee you'll pass first time. Before we do it, let's grab a coffee and then we'll kick off. Yes. Step one, study. Now that might seem super obvious, but I bet you any money that you're supposed to be studying right now. I bet instead of studying, you're sitting on YouTube looking at how to pass the AWS Solutions Architect exam. I actually booked this exam for the start of the year, but something sort of got in the way. And studying is hard, it takes dedication, especially if you have a full-time job. If you're a student, it's a little bit easier because you live and breathe study. But if you're working a Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, trying to find the motivation to study after a long hard day is quite a lot sometimes. But just study with intention. Pick a routine that works for you, whether it's 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening, or whether it's a cram session on a Saturday for 8 hours. Gotta study, gotta study. Just study with intention. Remember, this isn't the certified cloud practitioner anymore. It's no longer enough just to sort of match a service to a service that you kind of vaguely remember from reading the documentation. You really do have to understand the underlying architecture and the only way you're going to do, get to do that is unfortunately through study. Step two is understanding. Now again, a super obvious one, much like study. What do I mean by understanding though? I don't mean understanding the core concepts behind the architecture. That's a given. You need to know that if you're going to pass the exam. I mean understanding the type of question that they are going to ask you. There's like four or five very specific type of questions that they ask and we'll go over those now. But if you know what kind of question they're going to ask, you know what kind of answer they're looking for. And they're really not that varied. Again, there is only like four or five kind of questions that they ask. So let's take a look at those now. Kicking us off, we have the lowest operational overhead, which effectively means what's the quickest and easiest way we can implement this with the least amount of effort and maintenance required. The lowest overall cost means the cheapest, and the most secure means, well, the securest. The most available and fault tolerant? Is my service available when I need it to be, and can it withstand faults elsewhere in the network or the architecture? I will say, I already work with AWS every day, so that is a bit of an unfair advantage. If you don't work with AWS every day and you work with Azure, or maybe you're new to cloud computing, one thing that's going to really help you get that understanding is by doing the labs. My favorite place to do the labs is either Wiz Labs or Tutorials Dojo. So let's take a quick look at those right now. So you want to launch your browser of choice and your search engine of choice, and we want to be looking for wizlabs.com. So if we hit platform and then hands-on labs and then lab library, and this is really great because then we can filter by AWS. Now these labs they have here, they are behind a premium paywall, but it's worth its weight in gold for the subscription. Now the reason why I love wizlabs.com is because these labs are not just your basic 101 kind of this is how cloud works. They're actually labs that are going to reflect a real life situation that you're going to find on the job. Now, the solutions architect exam doesn't talk about Terraform, but after you've got that exam out of the way, I highly recommend you come and check out these other labs because they're really going to separate you from the crowd if you're looking for that first cloud job. But we are here for the solutions architect exam. So if we come back a page, we can actually filter via certifications. So AWS starting with A being at the top, we can come down to AWS certified solutions architect at the associate level. Just tick that and you'll see that you have a whole bunch of labs now that are geared towards that exam. The next website we want to look at is tutorials dojo. Now, this is where you can get a whole bank of practice exams and practice exams are going to be the difference between you passing and failing this exam. Seriously, I did it before the exam that I sat and just passed there. And I think it was about 15 quid for six practice exams, which is pretty good, really. Uh, so let's jump back to the video and we will carry on talking about point number three. But again, you don't need to work with AWS to pass this exam. It's a really solid foundational exam that covers all the services. But if you do work with AWS, it's going to really, really accelerate your studying and help you pass a lot quicker, I think. Step three is Stanima. Now, it's quite a long exam. I think you get about 90 minutes or two hours. I can't quite remember. But even so, that is a long time to concentrate for. If you're anything like me, your attention span is less than ideal, but there is a way you can improve it and there is a way you can get used to the length of questions. Some of the questions in the exam are a paragraph long, but then the answers, which is the four of, there's gonna be a paragraph for each of those. So that's one question and that's five paragraphs. So you can see how Stanima is super important. 
you're doing that 65 times and you soon get a bit blurry eyed and a bit tired by the end. I literally went for a nap after the exam because your adrenaline's so high and it's so much concentrated reading. Napping is manly. The way to kind of get around this is just by doing practice exams all the time. Now I know that's super obvious and you're going to do practice exams, mock exams before you do the actual exam, but really going with the approach of, I'm not just going to do 10 practice questions. I'm going to do the whole 65 because that's what's going to build up the concentration levels and that's what's going to build up the stamina. Quick bonus tip. I found this amazing app called Cloud Prep. It's got all the AWS exams apart from the security specialist and it's got half full and mini tests as well. So if you've got five, 10 minutes spare, you can just, instead of you know going on Instagram, you can just launch this app and do a bit of practice in the evening. Thank you for reaching the end of the video. If you're still around, consider putting the thumbs up or subscribing. It really helps me know that I should continue making content like this as opposed to other stuff. And if you've got that exam booked soon, good luck. And it's not actually as bad as you think it might be. I'm sure you'll be fine.